Hey everybody, welcome to the Mud Reviews. Today we are reviewing a camo scrim scarf thingy, or as they say, a tactical military neck scarf. I got this off Amazon. It's supposed to be ATAX FG. Let's open this together and see how close it is to that camo pattern. Okay, kind of looks ATAX FG ish. Oh, okay. It actually kind of looks like ATAX FG. I'm pleasantly surprised. So I got this off Amazon. I wanted a ATAX FG uh, scrim to kind of throw with the uh, little uh, Ukrainian LARP kit I got going on for uh, BB Wars. Thought it would look kind of cool. And I needed a little sniper scrim to just kind of cover up my face and um, neck and shoulders uh, for what we're doing. And I thought it would look good. And I saw this and I thought it looked kind of neat. Uh, this is pretty common pattern used by uh, the Russians. Uh, I've seen the Ukrainians running it. Uh, they call it Moss. Uh, we know it here in the West better as ATAX FG. I think ATAX, uh, if I remember correctly, they licensed it out to a lot of Russian companies. They changed it to Moss, and they call ATAX AU some other weird name. But anyway, uh, so this scrim is very decently patterned on one side. On the other side, it's very light, almost no pattern at all. Scrim's not too bad. Uh, one side's fairly unfinished. Whereas you get to the other side and it is kind of finished off with some binding tape. Why they didn't do that all the way around, I don't know. But two sides have binding tape finish and then the other two sides are unfinished. So that might cause some issues later with this starting to fray out or become an screwy. I guess maybe so it doesn't just have this big blankety feel to it. That might be why they did that. It is rather large. So this is uh, 23 by 23 by 20 uh, by uh, 23 by 35, this mat that's on here that I use for measuring. And this thing uh, engulfs it. It actually goes over about 9 or 10 inches on either side of the mat. So it covers the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, so it's easily probably about 26 by 45, roughly. That's kind of the size I'm getting off of it. The material feels pretty soft, uh, not too bad. Uh, for It's probably a full-on cotton uh, mesh, and it's going to definitely be decent. The uh, only thing that's going to suck is because of the severe disparity in color, coloration, from side to side, uh, when it is on, if you have it over, if it starts to roll, you're going to have a huge color shift, and that's going to be very noticeable uh, when someone's scanning, they're going to be like, Wow, that's very light and very dark, light and dark. I, I think that's, I just think that'll be noticeable uh, quite quickly. So that, that might be an issue because you can see how light and bright this is compared to this. But as long as I kind of keep it the way it should be, it'll be pretty good for camouflaging, uh, throwing over some kit, throwing over the head, and just doing what I want it to do. And it's BB Wars. No one's going to kill me, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just have plastic death, and plastic death is fine. Again, like I said, the pattern's not bad. It actually does look kind of ATAX FG. I was kind of surprised. I thought it was going to suck really bad. And it's not too it, pleasantly surprised. It is soft. It feels good. I've had some of these that are very rough and just kind of like super scratchy and just feel like shit. And uh, you just don't want any of them, have them anywhere near your face, let alone um, on your kit. And this one doesn't seem like it's going to be too terrible. I can't speak on whether it's going to be um, good under nods, but... Here at the end of the month, I'll be able to tell you because I'm going to be going up to play and a buddy of mine is going to be with me and he will have a pair of nods. So we'll be able to test stuff like this. Overall, kind of cool. I'll have a link in the description where I got it on Amazon. It wasn't terribly expensive, something like 11, 12 bucks. And it's just nice having a piece of uh, sniper mesh, a little veil, be able to throw over my stuff while we're out there geeking around and BB warring. Short one, guys. Hope you got some about this review. If you're looking for a little uh, mesh veil thing, to uh, cover up uh, your rifle or your kit or your head. Uh, maybe give this a look. It might be worth it for you. But maybe for maybe just BB Wars. Because I don't know how well this would be uh, for any real world applications. Because again, I don't know if this material is going to be a uh, glowing like chem light under nods or not. That's all I got guys. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, as always, if you like this content or think this is decent. A little helmet in the corner. In the bottom right hand corner. Go ahead and punch that guy. That's the subscribe button. Top right hand corner is a video that I think you might enjoy. 
top left hand corner of this video, YouTube says uh, you're going to like. That's the most recent. And um, I appreciate all of you. Thanks a lot for joining me here and looking at all this nerdy stuff. Uh, as always, guys, uh, LARP smarter, not harder. And hopefully I'll see some of you on the field. Take care.